Good day. My name is Sandra Makwembere, and I'm submitting this presentation in fulfillment of the requirements of the Public-Private Partnerships course by the World Bank Group. My presentation is on PPP for Municipal Waste Management. The overview of the presentation. The site is Makana Local Municipality in South Africa. The issue is waste management. The audience uh, is senior municipal officials. The presenter, myself, is the team leader of an internal research unit commissioned to undertake research on waste management and propose a solution. The pre presentation will be a brief presentation on a proposal for a PPP to deal with municipal waste management. I will now begin my presentation. I also want to mention that this presentation has not been made anywhere else and it has solely been prepared for this assignment. Good day, colleagues. My name is Sandra, and I'm the team leader of the research unit. Colleagues, as you know, the research unit has been undertaking research around waste management for some time, and we are now at a point where we have a recommendation to make based on our findings. The recommendations are for a PPP for municipal waste management. The Makana municipality has a population of about 80,400 people. Our current situation is that there are inadequate dumping sites, a lack of internal skills to dispose of waste, no vehicles to transport waste, no facilities to dispose and treat waste, waste is causing environmental degradation, waste is posing a threat to the health and safety of communities, our tourism business, which we rely on, is negatively affected as tour guides avoid certain sites and we have unhappy community members. The state of things, colleagues, is evidenced in these pictures. We have heaps of rotting waste in different places. We have unsightly bags of waste in different areas. We have litter in open places spreading all over the place. With this, we risk our drainage getting blocked and when it rains, we risk flooding. We also have community members littering because there are no refuse containers, thereby exacerbating the litter problem. We propose a public-private partnership. Why a public-private partnership? The municipality faces a number of financial and human resource challenges to meeting the demands. This is evidenced by the Auditor General's report. And not only does the Auditor General's findings point to the challenges, but it also points to the municipality compromising on fulfilling its legislative obligations. With this, the municipality is compromising on people's rights to realize their rights to sanitation and health. Already, a feasibility study has been undertaken, and this has pointed to the viability of a PPP to attract the private sector. In terms of roles, responsibilities, and risks, by risks, we are referring to the financial, technical, and commercial areas. We envisage that the private partner can provide transport, arrange transfers, uh, treat the waste, and dispose of the waste, and the municipality would arrange collection. We further believe that a performance-based arrangement would best help us and get the best of the private sector if there's no delivery, there's no payment. We have a good legislative, regulatory, and institutional framework. The Municipal Systems Act, Municipal Finance Management Act, Public Finance Management Act, Municipal Service Delivery and PPP guidelines. We also have a PPP unit in the National Treasury that can provide guidance and assist with the process. Should the proposal be considered and taken forward, colleagues, I wish to emphasize some imperatives that can help the PPP be successful. We need to identify and involve key stakeholders for joint decision making. We need to communicate with the public early and often. We need to maintain a fair and transparent process through the reg legislation and re regulation that exist. We need to ensure the necessary public and private sector skills. We need to in establish rigorous program management and we need to include independent advisors. We can have a cleaner future with a PPP. Thank you for your time, colleagues. 
I will make a detailed report with recommendations available to you after this presentation. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to my presentation. That is now the end of the formal presentation. These were some of the sources that I used for my presentation in terms of reading and videos. Feel free to look these up yourself. I would also like to mention that I have other colleagues that are presenting, well, putting together presentations like this one. And do feel free to look up this course and the presentations being made in fulfillment of the course. Thank you again for listening to my presentation. Have a good day.